Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm actually in a pretty decent mood, so I'm kind of excited and I'll have a little bit more uh, emotion behind my speech. Last week my voice was just so lackluster, monotone, dull. This is going to be redoing a video I did a while back about finding out which type of donut I would be because that related to a vine that I had. I've started to love like tweeting shit about quizzes and there's this t <laughs> tweet that I had that I really love. It's called took a bus. Feed, which jelly bean are you quiz and somehow got Saddam Hussein and it's just like weird for weird sake Yes, it's a strange tweet, but I'm not gonna take like a which jelly bean are you quiz So yeah, I just want to have a little bit of fun because I feel like I haven't been having the greatest time recently And I just want to do something that's lighthearted and fun Oh, by the way, all of my videos got demonetized and I'm working with YouTube now But yeah, hopefully that gets resolved So I'm gonna be taking a quiz called how brave are you actually and it's by BuzzFeed and I looked up like the 15 weirdest quizzes I could take and this was one of them so it says how brave are you actually which scenario would scare you the most being mocked by a small group of very mean teenagers chased by a gang of angry Best Buy employees all wearing blue polos and khaki slacks you are making out with someone hot but they <laughs> suddenly have tentacle arms someone emails your mommy and or daddy videos of you having weird sex I ain't scared of none of these things someone emails your mommy and or daddy videos of you having weird sex just because I feel like I could outrun the Best by employees, but it would be really hard explaining to my parents like giving a foot job to someone. I'm gonna say that one. Which situation would freak you out the most? Standing on the edge of a roof of a very tall building, being forced to stare at a blinking dot 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 on your phone as you wait for a text from your crush for 24 hours straight, being trapped in an elevator with a hungry grizzly bear wearing the blue polo and khaki slacks of a Best Buy employee, getting framed for selling crystal meth to toddlers at a gymboree. These things do not afraid me. I'm gonna say being trapped in an elevator with a hungry grizzly bear wearing the blue polo and khaki slacks of a Best Buy employee. Which situation would frighten you the most? Getting trapped in a basement teeming with a wide variety of insects. Having to do a TED talk about your weirdest masturbatory fantasies where the audience is entirely members of your family. Being dosed with both LSD and PCP without knowing it before going to a close friend, <laughs> close friend wedding. Having all your body hair shaved off against your will by sick freaks wearing blue polos and gacky slacks being sent by your boss or school principal to something called <laughs> being sent to your by your boss or school principal to something called the <laughs> <laughs> the bludgeon room. No way, I ain't scared of this stuff. You gotta do better to scare me, buddy. Um, I'm sensing a strong, <laughs> strong Best Buy vibe. Being sent by your boss or principal to something called the bludgeon room. Which of these things would make you tremble in fear? Having your crush cruelly reject you and insist that you are so smelly on a live television broadcast viewed by millions of people. Waking up to discover you have been tattooed so it looks like you're wearing a blue polo and khaki slacks. Getting locked in a cell with someone who has been genetically modified to look in top. <laughs> exactly like Jar Jar Binks. Jar Jar is harmless. He's just creepy. I'm gonna say waking up to discover you have been tattooed so it looks like you're wearing a blue polo and khaki slacks. Just because the khaki slacks tattoo, if I get tan enough, will go away. I'm just imagining like having sex with anyone and you have to explain the blue, <laughs> the blue polo, <laughs> the blue polo tattoo. Which scenario afraids you the most? Being the guest of honor at an ornate orgy held on the estate of Chad Kroger from Nickelback. Being forced to have a chain fight to the death with your best friend in the parking lot of a Wendy's is a chain fight where you whip someone with chains? Being captured and put in a cage dressed in an ill-fitting blue polo and khaki slacks on the private island of Hubert Jolie, the CEO of Best Buy? Uh, isn't, what's that saying? Like, human is the most dangerous game? I'd assume I'm being hunted at that point. The <laughs> CEO of Best Buy just hunts underperforming Best Buy employees. I fear nothing. You hear me, nothing. I'm gonna see this whole Best Buy shtick. I'm gonna see it through. You got reasonably brave. You aren't normally a scared person, but you have fears, reasonable fears. The reasonable fear of being trapped on the private island of the CEO of Best Buy and hunted 
for sport. This is the most, it's BuzzFeed's weirdest quiz of all time, and it's called Did You Ruin Everything? So the first question is, is why is Katie upset? What did you do to Katie? Options are, I pushed her into the snow and asked if she liked eating snow burgers. I threw a big basket of oranges at her long, beautiful hair. I asked her about her day with the intention of falling asleep in the middle of her reply. I lured her kind but foolish uncle into, into a swamp and cut off his beard. I asked her about her day with the intention of falling asleep in the middle of her reply. So this question is, what happened to the kitchen? It's a mess. I baked a cake using the heat of my body. I held a party in the kitchen and only <laughs> invited large dogs. I started making pancakes and then fell asleep for two days. I forgot how to make ice cubes and one thing led to the other. I'm gonna say I baked a cake using the heat of my body because I am so hot. My car is ruined, what did you do? I drove it into a very hard lake. I feared its power had hurt it before it hurt me, just like the Ender's Game, the novel by Orson Scott Card. Haven't read it. I was eating a delicious melon as I drove on the highway and trucks came out of nowhere. You wanna hear the stupidest time I've ever crashed a car? I, one time, was going on an off-ramp and I was trying to take off a turtleneck sweater and I got caught and I was going like 60 miles per hour. No, I was going like 45 miles per hour trying to pull this turtleneck off my head and I just slammed against this the guardrail and I just like fucked up the entire car. And then I pulled over, sweater still on my head, and the guy behind me is like, he came up to my window, he's like, oh my god, I thought you had a seizure. And I was like, no, no, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just fucking stupid. Uh, I'm gonna say I drove into a very hard lake. I'm sorry, that was a very roundabout way of answering that question. The town, the town is on fire. What happened? I fought the law and the law didn't win. I tripped. I punished the wicked and released their sins into the air. I'm not 100% sure this is my fault, to be honest. I'm gonna say I fought the law and the law didn't win. You got it! You ruined a lot, but you didn't ruin absolutely everything! I still see some bird baths in a Toyota Camry that aren't completely destroyed yet. You're still in a lot of trouble, but well, I guess I should apologize. You didn't ruin everything, per se. That's quite accurate. I would say that's me. So, this last one is called the Ultimate Fuck, Mary Kill Quiz. Which Hemsworth would you fuck? Chris, Liam, Luke. Luke? There's a third Hemsworth? Oh my god, this is like finding out there's a third property brother. The emo property brother. I'm gonna say Luke just because I feel like he doesn't get laid as much. You got I should fuck Luke Hemsworth. Oh? <laughs> Who would you marry? Oh my fucking god! I'm gonna say because Chris and Liam are already married, I'm gonna say Luke. You got I I should marry Luke Hemsworth. And then who should you kill? I'm gonna say, not my husband, Luke. I'm gonna say Chris because I'm super happy for Miley and Liam. You got, I plan to kill Chris Hemsworth. Oh my god, did you really just threaten to kill one of their Hemsworth brothers? Yes. You got admitted <laughs> murder. You've never even met the Hemsworth brothers, but you can't wait to kill one of them. I also want to marry one of them. I also want to fuck one of them. I'm gonna say I also want to fuck one of them. You got, you're a maniac. You'll never get away with this. <laughs> I love that you got admitted murderer. All right guys, that's it for this week. Thank you so much for watching. I fucking loved all those quizzes. I think they're so perfect. By the way, um, this is just a side note, I missed the enrollment period for health insurance at my current company, so I'm currently uninsured, and I need health insurance to buy my antidepressants and see my therapist, so I may be starting my Patreon back up, just so I can afford health insurance, so if I post this video, most likely my Patreon will be linked below, if it's not, that means I haven't uh, revamped it, and it's probably going to be on my Twitter or Instagram later. But if you'd like to support me at all, um, in, I'll update you guys on that. But uh, support me on there if you want to. You really don't have to. Oh, subscribe to me on here. Like this video. I'm, it's up to you. Uh, follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Twitter. I post videos every week. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I hope that next week's video is a little bit more interesting. Sorry if I just spoke really fast. I, I don't know. It's weird asking for help. But yeah, hope you guys have a great Thursday. I don't know when this is going out. Bye!